tonight, piecing together a decades-old mystery, Queen City News continues to follow the story of a new crack in a more than 20-year-old cold case. Asia Degree was just nine years old when she disappeared from her home in the middle of the night. While some clues have emerged over the years about what could have happened to her, she still has not been found. But recent search warrants re released by Cleveland County court officials shed new details on what authorities think may have happened to Asia. They believe the then nine-year-old who disappeared in 2000 was killed. Anchor Robin Kennedy is live in East Charlotte at one of the properties searched last week on Walnutwood Drive. And Robin, so what gave investigators new leads after all these years? Alicia and Morgan, detectives had the evidence all along, but new DNA technology along with those family tree databases where you upload your DNA have come a long way, even in the last five years, and those are helped open up this case. The sheriff calls her Shelby's sweetheart. Nine-year-old Aisha Degree disappeared on Valentine's Day 2000. A year and a half later, law enforcement found her book bag and clothes ditched, double bagged in garbage bags. But it's taken 24 years to crack the case. The fact that they held on to it for this length of time is really amazing. And uh, in my opinion, they've done a great job. Leslie Kaufman is a forensic genealogist. It's the scientific way of saying she helps law enforcement take DNA from crime scenes or unidentified persons cases to build family trees using DNA databases to answer who may have been involved. Because of the advancement in genealogy, the advancement in DNA, um, they can do today what they could not even do five years ago. DNA and forensic genealogy first gained attention when it helped catch the Golden State Killer in California in 2018. I do it every day, but it's still amazing to me as well, to be honest with you. You know, we've come a long way, as they say. No one has been arrested in the homicide of Asia Degree. Search warrants executed for five properties in three different counties last week show DNA collected from a hair on Aisha's undershirt came back to Anna Lee Victoria Dedman Ramirez, the daughter of Connie and Roy Lee Dedman, the owners of some of the properties searched. Investigators say they used genealogical data to narrow down the DNA samples and also got a DNA hit from a former resident of the Deadman's nursing home who has since passed away. The warrants say Roy and Connie Deadman are the common links. Roy's attorney says the Deadmans deny any involvement in Aisha's disappearance. Just say they're closer now than they've ever been before and there's a good possibility they are going to come to some conclusion as to what happened to her. Now, Kaufman says it is important to note that these DNA databases where you upload your results, they ask if you want to opt in to have law enforcement take a look at your results and your information. So she says it is your choice. I'm live in East Charlotte. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.